You know, there's been a surge of catalytic converter thefts across the nation, and Texas Tech's campus has become a super hot spot for thieves. A Red Raider graduate student recently noticed his was missing, and with all this on top of finals and grading homework as a graduate assistant, the added stress is exactly what he doesn't need right now. Kelp Case Landry Sinna spoke with the student today. Landry, how did he notice it was first missing? Terry, it was when 10 Nguyen started his car Thursday and it was making an awfully loud noise. He thought a motorcycle was beside him. Then he realized it was just his Toyota 4Runner starting. That's the sound of a car starting with no catalytic converter. Very motorcycle-like, and it's what made Tan Nguyen realize something was wrong. I looked underneath my car and I see bolts and um, springs and things like that, and so I discovered my catalytic converter was stolen. He then filed a police report with law enforcement on campus. The police officer told me it happened five times already, but nothing was ever recovered or uh, done. So uh, he said, just file a claim with your insurance company. Tan studies chemistry, so he knows the value these car parts have to thieves. The catalytic converter converts um, carbon monoxide unburned fuel to uh, less harmful chemicals such as carbon dioxide. And rhodium, palladium, and platinum are precious metal, especially rhodium. I know the price of these metals, and they're very hard to come by. That's why they go after catalytic converters. With it being the end of the semester, an inconvenience like this isn't exactly what Tan needed right now. You're in the middle of finals right now. Finals, grading, <laughs> more stress on top of that. Now I have to pay for towing to get it there, and then I have to pay a thousand dollar deductible. And Tan is always very careful with his car. I'm the person that tends to park away from everyone, so I love my car. I don't want to get scratched or anything. But um, just be aware of your surroundings and try to park it where there's maybe cameras or more lights. I was unable to reach Texas Tech Police today, but we have spoken to them about this issue before, and they suggest taking extra precautions. And depending on where you park, there could be cameras in range. So definitely look out for those. And like Tan said, try to park under some lights.